Hey there, Kate here, back for another How To in Dubsado. So today I wanna talk to you about how to use Dubsado if you are custom quoting your projects. Um, so if you're someone like an interior designer, for example, where you have a very manual uh, customization process for an invoice or a proposal. Uh, you can still use Dubsado proposals and they can still be a really valuable tool, tool in your business, even though your clients are not necessarily selecting among packages, which is the common way that you see proposals talked about in the Dubsado booking space. So here is how you might want to use a Dubsado proposal, a little hack for you that's going to make it easier. So here is an example of what a proposal might look like for an interior designer. So you can see here, I'm in the preview, let me go to the edit mode. You can see here that what we are doing is we have our invoice package items filling in automatically. So this means that you would be on the Dubsado invoice tab, putting on packages and then customizing them from the invoice where you don't need to go and customize your proposal specifically. It makes it a little bit faster for you. Now we do have in this particular proposal example, some upgrade options that are just kind of a static amount where the client is being able to choose. However, um, you may not have those. And so if you don't have the upgrades especially, then this hack is gonna be helpful. So whenever you're using a Dubsado proposal, you have to submit it with a package selected. The proposal will not allow you to move forward. It will not allow the client to submit if there is no package selected. But when you are doing this um, workaround where you are displaying the invoice items as the package, that's not a package. Um, so Dubsado is not going to recognize that as a package being selected and is not going to allow the client to move forward. So here's how we get around that. We are going to, over on the left-hand side, go down to the package area, and we're going to drag a package into our proposal. Now, I highly recommend putting it right below where your invoice items are, because as you're about to see, it's going to be easy to lose this on the back end, and you want to be able to keep track of it. So what we're going to do is either create a new one. In your case, you'll just create a new package. And we are going to call this package thank you. We are going to make that the title and we're going to add a line item for thank you with a quantity of one and zero dollars. And then we're going to click add item. Now we also need to, on this left-hand menu, click pre-selected. Yes. Then finally, we're going to save and apply. So now we have this new thank you package in our proposal um, and it is pre-selected so that that is going to allow the proposal to move forward and onto the contract and invoice stage if that's applicable to you or at the very least is going to allow the proposal to be submitted. However, this doesn't look very good, right? Like this looks weird, Kate. Why on earth would I set up my proposal this way? No sweat. This is actually really easy to solve. So now that we've got our proposal added and we've got it for $0 and pre-selected, we are going to click edit inline, our little pencil icon. We're going to select all of the information here. You can highlight. I like to do command or control A um, just to select everything in this text box. And then we're going to delete it. And this is where I said it's really easy for it to get lost because once it's deleted, we're then just going to click the check mark. And now it's completely invisible to the client, but it is still there. So since it's still there and marked pre-selected, whenever your client would get down to the bottom of the form, they will be able to go ahead and submit it, which is going to allow you to utilize the proposal contract and invoice feature, even if you're custom quoting and building quotes for every single client. And proposals are such a great way to sell your services and to tie that entire contract and invoice process up neatly into one link. Um, it just puts it all in this nice little bow that increases your possibility of conversions. So once you've done that, you'll just quickly you'll simply click save and close and then you're set to go. So um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, I obviously named interior designers as somebody who would probably use this, but go ahead and let me do know down below if you're from a different industry. Um, also note that uh, this is actually this Hustler proposal template that I have. Um, this is available for sale in my shop and it's already got that proposal um excuse me, that package on there and pre-selected. So you get to skip some of this work. We've got two different formats on here. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit up my shop and I'll link that down below. Uh, but I hope that you found this hack helpful and have a great day. Happy.
Dubsado automating. <laughs> <laughs>